what's up guys so this vlog is more dedicated to um, design and what I want to focus on is my portfolio and you know after a lot of time and focusing on what I need and what I don't need I realized that I need to reamp the portfolio and make it updated and how I do that is by taking off old projects and putting new projects on and I do this so that you know, update my portfolio and it looks more professional, more presentational and just be out there for clients and employers to check out. The first project I want to focus on is um, kind of this project where it involves uh, packaging, branding and marketing together in one and it's kind of related to what I used to do like 10 years ago. Friends of mine used to come over to my parents house and we used to play pool and we call ourselves the Rat Pack and there's always been a poster up there that has the Rat Pack and I just thought that was one of the most coolest posters ever so what I'm thinking of doing is making a pool table uh, kind of like an anniversary pool table and then feature the Rat Pack and each Rat Pack is a member and then I'm going to influence them on the pool table so I'm thinking out loud right now so I gotta realize how can I do that and how can I implement that and that's the key that's the problem is how can I promote the rat pack into a product so that's where the key issue is and um, I gotta realize like what I gotta do with this so we got colors to figure out we got fonts to look at we got imagery to look at we got products that we can use such as pool tables, uh, eight balls and you know sticks and all that good stuff that involves with it so I'm thinking this is gonna be really cool so let's get to it So the first thing that kind of already got into my mind is the color palette and um, looking at different things here that I've been collecting in my mind I'm thinking of using very clean colors and very um, elegant colors obviously black and white go into that and another uh, high class color that we're thinking about is silver bronze and gold so that's kind of the line of what I'm taking that into um, as an account of uh, fonts I'm thinking of using fonts of a kind of like serif fonts. I think those are very post post century, you know, mid century kind of you know design. Use a lot of those fonts. So that's two key components I'm already underlining. But check this out. This is a website that I look for inspiration at. It's called Visual Graphics. And this kind of gets me up and going. I look at this website and I just get inspired from it. Also Behance. If I look into Behance, Behance is another good website to get inspiration from. So those are the different, if you're ever wondering how I get inspiration, those are the sites that I look at for that. So um, let me get my cookings together here and uh, so let's do it. Alright, so I want to give you guys an update on where I'm at at this, so after much thought, I want to give you a kind of a, an overview of what exactly what's the process from steps here. So usually when I design a project, I usually go in very deep at where I want to go. So for this, this is kind of like mid-century Rat Pack kind of product that I'm trying to design. So what I pretty much did is just First, I did research. I went on Wikipedia and I said, "Who is the Rat Pack? Who is it, who they are? Where they're from? And what? Why are they here? You know." So, I came up with who they are, which is Frank Sinatra and Dan Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., etc., etc. And they're usually from New York City, either Los Angeles or Las Vegas. Mostly, 
Americana entertainment capitals. And um, I wanted to give, you know, kind of like also keywords, you know, after I figured out what they are and with to what they dot, I wanted to go in the world, go inside of this, you know, bubble that they live in. So what I did is I went to Spotify and I put on some Frank Sinatra and some Sammy Davis Jr. and just listen the whole day just listen to their music and just get in there you know get in that world and when I was in there in that world I came up with um different keywords keywords that I could use so that I could create a a mood board off of so what I came up with is sophisticated mid-century musical jazz community entertainment uh, what else here what else I got here uh, domestic, slow, nightlife, mid-century, Park Avenue, you know, museums, you know, stuff like that, that, that captivated who they are. And after I got a good sense, I started creating logo mock-ups, because what I want this to be is also kind of related to brand and package design together. I came up with the signature type of logo, because I think that would, that is kind of very elegant and very mid-century design. So that's as far as I'm concerned right now. So right now I'm gonna start um, capturing this and put this into uh, put that into a digital form. Once I get a good digital form of the logo, um, and I'm gonna do the color palettes and then do the whole branding of that, and then from that you move on to the package. So let's go do that. Okay, so I managed to put everything on a digital form, as you can tell. Let me show you. The sub font that I'm going to use for copy, dummy copy, and everything on that form, and that's. A second binary logo if I need to use that for um, body copy so now that I have the foundation of what I want to design now it's time to implement this into the different forms of the actual package design <laughs> Alright guys, so after a couple of hours, I have finally got a good, solid uh, project kind of ready for um, my website, which I've uploaded. Let me show you. So here's a key foundation of it. So pretty much what we got is the logo, and then I got different typefaces here that represent the type logo and then a sub type logo and then color palette and then this would be kind of the sub font of that and then I'll go into these kind of icon sub icons graphics and this is kind of a pattern graphic and then this is the actual image of what I'm doing here and then this is kind of the eight ball and then I'll have here is other billard balls for pool tables so yeah that's pretty much it it's kind of the base foundation of it so what I'm gonna do now is just probably add more mock-ups of the actual package design and see it in different forms and see it actually implemented into an uh, actual pool table and stuff like that but I'm gonna lay off of that for a couple of days you know just to refresh my mind so when I come back into it I have new ideas and then I would you know be more inspired to actually work on it again but that was just kind of me you know as a designer and what I do in my design process so if you want to see the project I'll put the link below where you can click and then watch and see 
the actual design. But um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.